players upgrading their save to Waypoint are now awarded additional free technology slots. This fix will also apply to players who have already upgraded their saves. We chat online for like two hours every day, so I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and there are major changes coming to No Man's Sky 4.0. You guys, seriously, number one, I know there's been a lot of negativity. There's been a lot of back and forth over the last few days of the update. I want to say right now, you guys are freaking awesome because a lot of you, I've seen a lot of comments saying, I submitted a note to the Zen desk on No Man's Sky's website. That is the bug reporting area of No Man's Sky. And now it looks like Hello Games is taking the feedback. I love the positive, the constructive criticism. Guys, seriously, this is because we have been asking for it. So I know there's a lot of people saying that Hello Games doesn't know, they don't care. Obviously that is wrong because there are major changes coming. Let's jump into the details. So this morning, Sean Murray tweeted out, new build push to experimental that is like the testing version of no man's sky containing lots of fixes from the first few days of waypoint and also starting to see a bunch of improvements based on early feedback there you go right there you guys the feedback you are giving them through the zen desk is working and i mean i'm not telling you not to give me like a comment down below or to tweet out on twitter do those things as well be constructive don't just say, this is broken, I hate it. Tell them, hey, I don't like this thing. This is how I would change it. Or this is what I think it should do. That is great because, as you'll see from these notes, they are taking that into account. So let's jump in here. Experimental branch 1110. That's October 11th because they're over in Britain. You know they're weird. All right. But first of all, thank you so much for everyone who has already spent time playing No Man's Sky and let us, letting us know about any issues you've experienced. Steam users are able to opt into the experimental branch where we have pushed a patch out to address, address some problems. I'm so excited, I can't even speak, you guys. So, if you did not know, on PC, they have the experimental version of the game. Basically, this is like the, the testing version they will push out with different changes to see if they work or if they are needed. Most of the time, they'll push out something, they'll test it and say, okay, this works. Then it will come to consoles like Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation. But they test it out with the PC players first. And then I will link the notes down below in the description and the pinned comment. I will link it because there's no way I can go through every single one. Well, there is, but this video would be probably 45 minutes long. And I know you guys like shorter, bullet point get to the point so i'm going to do the major stuff that i've seen and if you guys want to see all the details all the the fixes that are coming to no man's sky link down below in the description so the first one the biggest one that i've seen is players upgrading their save to waypoint are now awarded additional free technology slots this fix will also apply to players who have already upgraded their save so if you maxed out your inventory before the 4.0 update, if you start up the save now with this update, remember, you have to wait for the update to hit, the patch. You have to wait for a patch to hit. But once this patch is live and it's for everybody, you will have additional upgrades. You'll have, well, not upgrades. You'll have additional technology slots. So you'll have more room to put your upgrades in versus someone who starts the game brand new. Very, very cool. It rewards the old school veteran players who already maxed out their inventory. Why do we have to start over, you know, with with less? That is very, very cool. I appreciate that change. And then we have the starting slots difficulty. They're adding new difficulty sliders. Settings now adds additional inventory slots as well as additional companion and squadron slots. So guys this means there's going to be a new difficulty setting in the menus so you can say hey i want more or i want less now you can set that limit so and that's for starting so again this is going to be for a brand new save you can't set it now if you have a save that has 300 hours on it if you start a brand new save you can say hey i want to start out with a whole bunch or i want to start out with no slots or whatever whatever happens to be the case there is a new difficulty setting for slots i like that feature i do 
That makes it even more difficult for a no starter ship challenge. I'm just saying. And then we have the photon cannon can now be deleted from the ship inventory, providing at least one other weapon is installed. Guys, this is the best one right here. Now we can get rid of that photon cannon before it was locked in. Once you installed the photon cannon or your ship already came with a photon cannon, there is no way to get rid of it. It was just a random, if you've never, if you don't like it or you never used it, it was just sitting in your inventory. It was a pain in the butt. Now, as long as you have another weapon, so if you replace it with another weapon, you can get rid of it. You can just take it out and, you know, throw it in the trash like it should be done. Like it should be done. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. The strength of starship specialization bonuses have been increased so that higher grade ships receive greater inherent bonuses to their stats. This scales steeply with both class and ship specialization so that the explorer class, for example, the explorer class ships have significantly further warp ranges. So in the update, a lot of people, I didn't see this, you know why? Because there were so many people shouting and screaming and throwing tantrums. I could not see this complaint. Now I know that they did not intend, or they did, and now they're fixing it, the fact that their specializations for ships were really, really nerfed. So, the fact that if you have a, if you have a hauler, you're supposed to have more shields than any other ship class, right? Well, it was nerfed. If you have an explorer, like their example, you're supposed to be able to travel farther than any other ship. That's why it's the explorer. The fighter does more damage than any other ship. And now that is going to be increased in this new patch when it comes out. I love that. And then the last one I want to highlight in this video for you guys is a new difficulty setting has been added, which allows players to lock themselves out of any further difficulty setting changes. Once enabled, this action is permanent. Captain Steve, specifically, I want to thank you, Captain Steve. Captain Steve has been saying this and touting this and asking people to talk about this. This is a major deal for him. And I think it's a good addition to the game. So now there is a, a, a setting in the difficulty settings to say, look, lock it in. Once I change these settings and I start a new game, don't let me change it again. So you can't go like if you go two or three hours into the game and say, well, you know what? I feel like changing this now. I want to make it easier. You can't do it. If you use this setting, if you turn this on, it locks you in. That is very, very awesome. And specifically, Captain Steve. He is the biggest proponent of this, and I agree with him. I love that it's a setting. So now you could just turn it on and it locks it in. But if you don't want it, like if you're a new player and you're like, hey, I want to see, I want to test the waters. I want to play on a really hard difficulty. But if it's too hard, I want the ability to turn it down later on. Like an hour in, I'm like, I can't handle this. It's too difficult. It's irritating. I want to turn it down. You can still do that. But... If you want to play hardcore, you want to really have an experience where you don't have the ability to change, even if you're tempted to, there is now going to be a setting once this patch comes out, there is now going to be a setting so you could just turn that off and say, nope, I don't even want to get tempted. Just turn it off. I can never switch this thing back again. So guys, seriously, Hello Games is listening. I love it. And you guys, all of you, thank everybody. Thank you all for you submitting your problems, submitting your suggestions to Hello Games through the Zendesk. They are listening. Seriously, they are listening. So I know there's a lot of toxicity out there right now. I'm not going to address it anymore. We've already beat that horse to death. I'm going to say thank you to everybody. You guys are freaking awesome. We are saying what we want changed, and Hello Games is listening. And I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are awesome. Hello Games is listening to us changing things that we said needed to be changed. I know, I mean, they didn't take my Quicksilver suggestion, so maybe that's a good thing. I don't know about you guys. I know I, I put it out there yesterday, and a lot of people said, don't change Quicksilver. I get it. I get it. I, I submitted that note. I apologize, and they haven't done it, so obviously I was wrong, <laughs> at least on Quicksilver. Anyway, hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button, and... I will see you guys next time.